Unfiltered show, we back at it. Unfiltered in the building. Unfiltered podcast show. It's the unfiltered show. Unfiltered podcast. Unfiltered podcast. Unfiltered podcast. Unfiltered podcast. Unfiltered podcast. What's up, Bay Area? Unfiltered. 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 Are, are, are you mad? Off with the podcast, we hot, nigga. Unfiltered podcast show is about to go crazy nasty. Episode 66. You know what I'm saying? Dre in the building, T in the building. We got the unfiltered girls in the building on the couch. Hey. You know what I'm saying? We out in this bitch. It's beautiful in Oakland today, man. What up, Dre? You good? Good, bro. I'm trying to say, I'm trying to say hey, I like this motherfucker right here. This song be having me juiced at the gym. Yep, that's all I listen to. I play this song nine times. Fuck that. I like this shit. What's the little nigga name? Tory Lanez. Tory Lanez. I fuck with Tory Lanez. Welcome to the Unfiltered Podcast Show. You about to make me hate this. We are back for episode 66, Diablo. Yes. I think three sixes should be Diablo, right? There you go. We ain't there yet. We ain't there yet. Yeah, man. We back. It's, it's been a it's been a quick ass week. Yeah, it has. Way too quick, man. I feel like was, we could have made some more money, but fuck it. You feel me? Corona uh, got niggas fucked up, B. Corona got niggas fucked up. Oh yeah. Yeah, man. But um before we get into all that shit, man, we got some guests. Uh, y'all can go ahead and introduce y'all. Hello, this is Bambi. What's up, Bambi? Damn, that's your fucking name? Yes. All right. All right. I'm with that. That's your birth name? It's my nickname. All right, all right, all right. Mm-hmm. Like the motherfucking dick. And what's your name? Free baby is my nickname. Damn, y'all got some gangsta ass names. They don't even have regular names no more. <laughs> nope. Name my child some crazy. <laughs> I swear all the females be Fendi having names like they stump people out and shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. What's your name? Hardcore killer, bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Stomp a bitch out, bitch. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Welcome to the Unfiltered Show. You know what I'm saying? This is so y'all know y'all smoking, smoking. You know what I'm saying? It's one of our sponsors and shit. She's rolling up a fatty right now. For right. sure she is. Yeah, you know I'm saying? She represents Cookies on the line, too. Big shout out to Cookies. Shout out to Cookies. We yeah. fuck with you motherfuckers. We was just over there what, last Sunday. Yeah, we fuck with Cookies. You know what I'm right. saying? We fuck with Burner. Clean ass motherfucker. Burner. Burner. You know what I'm saying? Clean Burner, what up, dog? Come on the show, motherfucker. Talk that shit. <laughs> that shit hella white like it's all futuristic in that motherfucker. I yeah. think that's how it should be. Yeah. I mean, it's, it, just, it just smell hella clean in there. It's bro. business. I've been, no, I've been in other places. So I'm like, eh. You feel me? Yeah. We in this bitch. We back again. What up to everybody listening to us live on a on the podcast show, Instagram, yeah. Facebook, all, all that shit. Shout out, shout out, Oakland. Shout out, where are coming from? San Jose. Um. Well, I'm coming from Antioch. Antioch. Ooh. Yeah. Antioch got a bunch of chicks Ooh. right now. I like mm-hmm. Antioch. That's a whole that bunch thing. of bitches. It's a lot of pretty <laughs> motherfuckers out there. Is Antioch fucked up right now? To be honest, yeah, it's a little. What they call it? What's the city next to the Berg? Pittsburgh? Yeah, they call it the Berg. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the fuck they call it. What the fuck <laughs> is? You know who I know from Pittsburgh? Cool. Fucking Vaughn from KML. Vine? Listen to the show every think, fucking weekend. Hustler. Hustler from out there, right? Who? Hustler. The Jack in them. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think so. Right. Shout out to them. But other than that, I don't know what nobody from Antioch, Pittsburgh, bro. That shit brand new to me. That shit wasn't even there when we was kids, bro. That shit was dry as fuck. Right. That shit didn't exist. That shit was cheap, though. It was. Yeah, they man. did that shit on purpose so they can move niggas out of Oakland so they can get their shit. Well, they exactly. did a great job, man, because there ain't yeah. no niggas in Oakland. Shit. There's two all niggas nigga, left. All my cousins stay in Pittsburgh, nigga. Yeah. All my cousins. I stayed in Pittsburgh for a year. Oh, yeah. That shit was weird as fuck. Just dry and ghetto. It was like transient center or something. Right. It was like, it right. was like they kicked out all the... Motherfucking fuck ups, and everybody went way out there to it's live like, in. It's like Exile Land, bro. Like you, you know, they was giving niggas three bedrooms for eight hundred. Right. We I told went. It was like a, it was like a, a, a greater purpose for that, bro. Like they was doing that on purpose so people can leave. And All the big white bro. ladies moved there with had black babies. Yeah, that <laughs> and there should be a lot of mixed people up there. Single white mothers who got smashed <laughs> by a big black dudes who got out of the jail. Right. <laughs> Welcome to Antioch, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> nah. Anyway, Unfiltered Podcast Show, episode 66. 
We back in the building, 2020. Things are looking real bleak for us in the United States. You know what I'm saying? We are on the alert. If you don't know, we're on a high mission. There's a disease out there that can fuck us all up. Oh, Even yeah. the president. Today, they saying the president could be associated with the coronavirus. Oh, we yeah. We're all about I to be associated it. right here because they about to dock 3,500 motherfuckers who got the coronavirus right, on the Oakland shore. <laughs> they, they motherfucking making some big-ass moves with this shit, bro. Like, what, in France... Then uh, kicked all the the, 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 the the watchers out. You can't even watch yeah. the game. Only the players on the field. Nobody in this fucking stadium. That shit crazy. How would you wow. feel? Just hella feet. Would you go? Would you want to see that? Watch mm-hmm. a television show or a basketball game with nobody there? No, that would be very depressing. You know what? With today's technology, you won't even fucking know. Like they can, you know, you know when you watching like uh, Urkel and shit, and they put the, the you know, mm-hmm. yeah. the applause and shit. They just gonna do that for the NBA games and shit. You know. Dang, that's sad. <laughs> I hope they find a cure for this shit quick so we can get back to normal because it's just getting started. And if it's spread like AIDS, it's some fucked up situations going mm-hmm. down. Because you, you, these, you get this shit just by sneezing on the nigga. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's viral. It's in the water. Nigga, like, I don't know one nigga that got it yet. I don't know a Mexican that got it either. <laughs> I, you know what I mean? Like, we might be a little prone to that shit, but... Nigga, we don't travel like that either, nigga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ah, I ain't need bat wings and shit like that. It's uh, here, though, goddamn. It's about to be in Oakland. 3,500 cases about to get off the boat. Right, they, they docking the whole boat over here. Yeah. Masks, what do you say? Uh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yo, do For y'all real? wear a mask? Mask on, mask off. I used to. Fuck it, mask off? Obviously. <laughs> 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 I'm praying for everybody though. Uh, yeah, we need bro. to pray mm-hmm. for everybody that really. It's a real, some real shit. Bro, they bringing that boat right is. in my neighborhood, bro. Man, wait till the motherfuckers in jail get it. The, the wait till the motherfuck homeless shelters get like other populations that really like it ain't like you and I might not get it because we ain't in them fucked up situations unless they come home. I don't know, bro. You know what I mean? It come home, then it's gonna affect your whole family. I touch niggas' heads all day. Oh yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's coming home. It ain't like an STD. You can go get a shot in your ass and be cool. For real. You know what I'm saying? At least you got to work for STDs, bro. <laughs> I mean, you ain't got to work that hard. <laughs> At least you got to work for it. This shit having niggas falling out, walking down the street. Yeah, fuck that shit, bro. And then they saying the president, the president might be contaminated with the shit, infected. Yeah, they saying the president of the United States, and he said, they said because he's 76 or whatever they is, that if he get it, he, his chance of living, it go down 60%. Mm-hmm. We should give it to him. We nah, should. I, fuck, I don't want death on nobody. I don't like Trump, but I don't, I, I, I don't want him to die. Nah. Not from a disease. A shot, getting shot would be better. <laughs> Assassinated. You know, it's, it's, the coronavirus is basically like, like an old people genocide. Mm. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because like if we catch it, you know, we're going to be fucked up. I might, I might be out of commission for like two weeks. But they get it. It's like, man... Say bye, nigga. Well, I'm Not 50 too. then. I don't need you, shit. You in the in-between line. I'm, I'm good. I'm built like Hercules. <laughs> Hell no. I could run down a nigga who stole something from 7-Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nigga. You got money now. You can just get a yeah. or something. You know, did you know me and Dre was rich as fuck? Nah, we ain't. What? Did you didn't know that? He's lying. No way. <laughs> Dang. Rich as fuck. Rich. As as fuck. <laughs> you ain't seen our house? You know how much money no, fuck is? I haven't seen this house yet. Oh, damn. <laughs> we don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck is not a fucking number. <laughs> <laughs> That's four letter number. <laughs> 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 you are stupid. Welcome to the Unfiltered Podcast Show. We're back. Number 66. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, James, Ooh. we miss you, baby. Yeah, man. Hey, this is episode two with old James. We yeah. should have like a tribute. We should do a we should set up a little doll that looks like that. We should like have like a, a cutout. We should use one of them like pull ups. This is our third member of he he left, so now I knew my brother. Mm. So we're gonna get a little blow up doll look like him. <laughs> oh, blow up doll. That's gay. Nice. Who? That's gay. Uh, I like blow up dolls. It's gay. <laughs> you ever had a blow up doll? <laughs> no. Experience? Mm. Actually, no. I've had a different kind of experience. What kind of experience have you had? Well, obviously oh, with toys, of course. Oh, you like toys? Yes. Oh, okay. You have freckles. Oh, she about to drop a sponsorship on us? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you don't even have a boyfriend? No. You have toys? Yes. We can't ask you anything, Sessu, because 
your man is one of my partners, so we're going to keep you PG. <laughs> so, anyway, nah. <laughs> so go ahead and drop your sponsorship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How many dildos do you have? So, right now, I only have one. We should buy you some more. I do need some more. We should go <laughs> shopping for dildos. That would be really cool. That would be really cool. And Would you take your man shopping for dildos? <laughs> uh, no, I'll take him shopping for a dildo to see in the bedroom. Ooh. Ooh. Watch out, That BDSM, Watch out, 50 dog. Shades of Grey. What if he said he didn't want nothing? <laughs> what, if he, what if he said, I want a blow-up doll, <laughs> a, a black blow-up doll. He want to make love to two motherfuckers. Ooh, Shit, them blow up dolls be having some big old booties. You ever seen one of them jelly dolls? Damn, them big old booties. I ain't never seen that. I'm going to buy one. I'm going to buy one and sit her ass right on this couch. <laughs> so They're actually making blow up dolls to like <laughs> actually have conversations. Yeah. Do they? Yeah. Just, where did mm-hmm. you get her from, bud? <laughs> like, <laughs> I like you already. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, what the fuck else are we supposed to talk about? <laughs> oh, fuck Meg the Stallion. She's garbage this week. Oh my God. Uh, let's, let's talk I've about heard it. so let's much stuff from let's her. Talk, right, let's talk about First it. First of all, Meg the Stallion, we, I'm, I'm a fan of yours. But what she's going through right now, not reading your contract, yeah. you're just as stupid as a motherfucker who ain't even looking on the motherfucking internet. Like, if you don't handle your business, it's 2020. Like, this ain't 1970 where artists was just getting beat up if they didn't sign a recording contract. Exactly. Well, I'd like, say that if she was if she was a dude, she wouldn't have been able to say none of that. It, it don't matter if you was a woman. Nah, you, women man. are powerful as hell. Yeah. You, you, you can't. If she, if she was a dude, she wouldn't have been able to say none of that. They would have mm. whacked that nigga. It would have been cookies, bro. You can't speak. You can't speak out like that in public. If you I mean, problems, she, if you it, I think it was a mistake to tell everybody in the world that you didn't read your own contract. She knew, yeah, she, she knew that, that was a mistake. You, you know who she signed to, bro. Who? You know she. The baseball with. nigga. Yeah, you know who you fuck with. Who? And that nigga Jay Prince and shit, bro. You oh, know, she you know signed that. to the mob. Yeah, she signed mm. to the mob. It was a little yeah. nigga different if it, situation. If it, was a, if it was a nigga, that nigga would have been shut the fuck up, bro. Yeah, she mm. signed to the mob. I get that. She yeah. should be scared right now. She yeah. Is. But you know what? You know what's bigger than the mob? Because she's with the black mob. It's the white mob. And so the white mob is the bigger label that she's well, on. She hiding, from, yeah. she hiding under Jay-Z right now. That's the, He's with the white mob. Yeah. yeah. Rock Nation, man. like that's mm-hmm. the mob. That's bigger than Jay Prince, right? That nigga, but I, like Jay Prince was like, I don't believe it was uh, Jay Z. Uh, like Jay Z had any knowledge behind it, but someone at Rock Nation was like being, you know, slick and dirty. Oh, you gonna and hide they, behind they, them doors? Right. And they trying. I guess they trying to pull her away from her contract and shit. As they should, because she's sn- making a sneaky, lot of money. Some sneaky yeah, shit. she is. Some se- sneaky shit. But like Jay Prince said, he's like, I don't think Jay Z would do anything like that. But who knows? We'll find out. You know any? You know any lyrics from Megan Thee Stallion? Can you rap? <laughs> I mean, you have a very raspy voice. I can, but. I have to be in the right state of mind to do so. Okay. Ooh. You know, everyone has their little tricks she and in bars quirks. On. Wow, he got to be fucked up on some X or something. <laughs> she, the, she the type Where of... the weed at? Where we smoking? You rolled up one? Oh, y'all rolled up and ain't What'd you shit. say your name was? Illa Killer or some shit? <laughs> what did you say? Bree Baby. Bree Baby. Mm-hmm. Bree Baby. No last name? No last name? No. <laughs> What's your Instagram? Rihanna Z ninety eight. What's your Instagram? And mine is underscore underscore bam bam and then three underscores. Yeah. That's like more code she, or something. She's special, B. <laughs> she hasn't she she's a type that responds to colors. <laughs> Hey, oh, T, yeah. what, do you, what do you think is going to be the outcome of this uh, <laughs> this, this Meg situation, man? This who? What's so, what, so, what your experience in the business? What you? What you? Uh, Yo, think? this is the big fish take little fish theory. What do you think is going to happen? Big fish take little fish. The big label is going to swallow the small label. They're going to buy she, her out yeah. as they should. They're going to buy her out. And she's yeah. going to renegotiate because she said she never wanted she to gonna, leave. The, the, what's going to happen is the dude that has her legally is going to get a check for about ten mil, and he's going to drop that ass, and then she's going to blow up even bigger because that's just what it is. Yeah. These big ass, these nine hundred deals that they giving niggas is crazy. They taking all your merch, all your show money, but they putting you on a big ass tour, and she's reaching those people. It's like Jay Z. Jay Z got three hundred million up front for 16 shows no merch he doesn't control nothing he just gave it all up mm-hmm. but 300 million so can't all, beat all, that all he has to do is plug in all he gotta thing. do is play nigga mm-hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? And the nigga who's the nigga is him. It's just like how he got fucking rid of um, Rock, how he got rid of Dame Dash and all them niggas. How do you do that? I forgot how he did that. So Dame Jazz, it was it was Rockefeller Records. So Jay Z was one of the owners, but there were three owners in Rockefeller. Then he so the record company Rockefeller Records signed the Rock Nation. Jay Z got hired by Rock Nation to be the president, which gave him more power. So he just didn't sign his own group. That's all. Mm. Cut them niggas out. He just cut them out. Damn, cold. But whatever. Business, Sorry, right? Meg the Sign. Get your shit right, blood. Don't never ever, you know, have your car showing, especially when you're that high up in the game. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. that really kind of fucked you up and made you even look more stupid that you didn't even fucking read the contract. I don't give a fuck if the contract was one page. Read one paragraph. Do something. Hire a lawyer. For I think, real? I, I think, like, I think what they, happened to that process? I, I think the main thing was like, man, you asked for all this shit and you ain't even put out an album yet. You know? Hey. Hey, it's just as stupid as this next motherfucker that we about to talk about. Well, you know, like the the industry <laughs> been having this problem with uh, artists having substance problems, substance abuse problems and shit. You know, we got oh, all, yeah. the, all these niggas dying and whatever. Yeah. And then, um, then you have like artists like this, like, like I give this to white people when they favorite artist is fucking fucking up, they'll they'll be like, I'm worried about this nigga or something. You know what I mean? So the dude I'm talking about right now is Post Malone. This nigga been acting fucking weird on tour lately, um, just doing the most. He kind of remind me like uh, uh, Johnny Depp when he was uh, Captain Black Sparrow on my fucking um, Pirates of the Caribbean. So I don't know if this is a show or what, but this nigga look motherfucking sick. Yeah. I mean, he's really, he's, he's really, he either he's really theatrical or he pops a molly in the back. Right, I can't tell. And then he came out on stage. I can't tell. You know what I'm saying? But you know, like, you know, he, he got like a strong white fan base, so they, they champion for him, which, uh, which we really don't. We, we cheer you on to fucking kill yourself in our, in our culture. Hey. Like, yeah, nigga, do more drugs, nigga, yeah, yeah. Hey. But, um. If he died, then what? You gonna be mad? I don't think they're gonna let him die. Nah. Yeah, nah, cause we ain't, cause we ain't did, we don't do this for none of our motherfucking artists, bro. We don't, no. we don't come out and be like. We should nah. call Post Malone right now. Should I got we? his number. Yep. Should we check in on him? No, we should just be like, hey man, pass us uh, some coke. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Give us some methamphetamine. That nigga probably hang out with G Easy. Yeah, they be hot. <laughs> white boys. So why is it the fact that when you're successful and you white and niggas put you out that it ain't cool? Like black people don't accept you. Why is that? Have you ever thought what about you that? Mean, what you mean? Say like you you come from a black background, but and you white, and then you're successful in the black background, but then black people are the ones that really fuck you up. Like. Oh, we'll, 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 we'll turn on you hella quick. Like, yeah, like, we don't mm -hmm. we don't support that shit. Like, you like, know what yeah, I mean? I, I don't think we do. Because we act, you know how we treat the culture? We, we treat the culture how, like, kids treat shit that, uh, that, that like, their parents like. You ever see, like, a kid like something, and then their parents come in there and fucking fuck with it, and they be like, man, I ain't fucking with this shit no more. Like, we do the same shit with, like, music. So it's like, if we like some shit, and then some white people, and white people take it, and they love it, and they love it, we be like, man, we ain't fucking with is this. Is hip-hop black, or is it white? I think if hip hop is colored. It's colored. You think so? Yeah. Has it changed? I used to see I'm old enough to say when I mentioned hip hop, it meant black. Like I was I, feel, I was I, gonna see my niggas at a hip hop show. I, I feel yeah. You feel me? Yeah, it's yeah. rainbow. It ain't no niggas at the show. Look at the best American. I saw yeah, the because it's because it got commercialized, bro. And we they, we got out price. It's shit. It costs too much damn money to go see our favorite artists and shit. Man, my, and then we just don't get along in these spaces where they perform. They don't perform in like our spaces anymore. They they perform. I mean, it's nothing. It's nothing wrong with that. They gotta get their dollar and shit. But like a lot of people in our culture don't feel comfortable going to these places no more. You know. Or we never well, did like going to these places, so we just say fuck it. They, we'll t we'll chalk this up. We'll watch them on YouTube or something. <laughs> you know. I don't see no black chefs on the Food Channel. No, I, I ain't even know white people cook that good. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm watching with my son. I'm watching the America's Top Dance Hip Hop Dance Show, mm -hmm. all Chinese. <laughs> I, what happened? Uh, I, I thought it was cool to be black, but we don't own dancing though. We don't own dancing. Man, I, I, last time I we know, we it, created yeah. dance. We, we created hip hop. We created hip hop. We didn't create dance. Niggas been dancing. No, since I'm talking about hip hop mm -hmm. dancing. We mm -hmm. created that. What do you mean? It's just dancing. yeah, popping, locking, like break hip -hop, dancing. With, with hip hop right now, it's just pop. So it's the most popular 
brand in the in the in the world right now. So I think like, we're the only culture where we get everything sucked in, and then the other culture becomes powerful and then locks us out, and we can't uh, even do it. It's happening in the barber game. It's happening in the hip hop game. How the fuck? And I love Eminem. Best rapper it's, alive. It's just, it's just popular. But, yeah, but they gave that too. motherfucker the lane where he got, he makes a billion dollars a year off fucking serious FM. White people love him. They're mm. the majority of the country. Bro. Well, they're the majority. Do you, it, it have you ever a, wanted to be white? No. Nah, man. God, no. I no. did. Yeah, if I, I did. Woke, if I woke up, white. I wanted to be white one time. <laughs> I was like, damn, I didn't get that contract. <laughs> you ain't never wanted to be white this year? <laughs> you fucking melted pot. <laughs> you can fit in. I don't think you can fit in because once you open your mouth, it's all nigga. <laughs> you know that, right? <laughs> Just so you know. I no, I, I, I can hear it. it. Yeah, you'd be like, hey, Tishiro, how you doing, buddy? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, nigga, what's up, bro? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 Me and Dre, that's bad. We can't get a job. Dre, definitely not. <laughs> we can't. Shut up, nigga. We can't. Why, why I mean, definitely not? Dre, you and I cannot get jobs. Look at us. Are you serious? We have <laughs> tattoos on our faces. We have gold teeth. We have dreads and fucking beards. And we ain't wearing no uniform. If me, what job would you like to see Dre and me and do? But what if we were police officers? That'd be lit. Who would you pull over? I pull over every white motherfucker. <laughs> every. Facts. It'd just be, pull over. I'd, probably yep. just, I'd probably just be real lazy with my. I probably wouldn't pull anybody over. I'd You'll be sleep. sleeping in the car. Yeah. He wouldn't even get out the car. He'll just turn the side around. Woo! I just probably just hit, for fun. I probably hit laps around Lake Merritt, nigga. We'll be chilling. Our car would be dope. It'll be loud. It'll be slapping. <laughs> Windows in the down. We'll and pull out everywhere where it's cracking at. And the dog we would have, we would have two chihuahuas. Hey. <laughs> just shitting all in the back of the seat. <laughs> unfiltered podcast show is back in the building we want to give some love to our sponsor right now this is at the point of the show where we ask the young ladies how do you feel about smoking smoking i'm pretty lit right now you know what the kind of weed you have what kind of weed do Puppy we have shit. No. <laughs> you had an orange cream sickle, yeah you had some orange cream sickle oh. that shit sound nasty mm-hmm. did it cream taste cream? like a sickle <laughs> Yeah, yeah orange cream sickle. What's an orange cream sickle? Uh-uh. They'll have one. In the hood? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hell yeah. That hood sickle. Yeah. Mm, basically. <laughs> the hood sickle. <laughs> the white in the middle. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> shout out to Smokeland. And stupid ass Shout another another dumb ass artist. Nicki Minaj. Oh yes. Has Nicki Minaj fell off? Yeah. Yes, she has. Yeah. You think she so? has. Yeah. Ever Maybe she since, got older. Just taking L To be L. honest, Just ever trying. since everyone was saying Cardi B was the new queen of hip hop, right. she's just been not been putting out good music like she used to. Yeah. She really mm-hmm. is. And then now after reading about her husband, it's like, Who's oh, my God. Was he a child molester or something? We had sex with somebody young? <laughs> he got caught yeah. fucking a young like, chick. Was it like aggra- aggravated assault and like rape, forceful, yeah. Face, yeah. forceful rape with a weapon? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that nigga was a predator. Like suck my and, dick and with a she, gun? She got, that nigga, she got that nigga out of jail day one and said, I'm like, And I'm just damn. like... What kind of shit is that? But you I'm just remember, like, though, what is her, she her thinking? Brother, her brother was a child molester. Um, oh, brother, my like, God. She, she just surrounded. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's sur- fat one. Yeah, she just surrounded, Damn. She's surrounded by nasty niggas, bro. Maybe she's That's weird. sad, though. Nikki, get your shit together if you listen to the podcast show. I'm going to help Nikki, bro. Nikki should holler at me. help her? How you going to help her? I don't know. I'll do something. I'll find a fucking way, though. <laughs> I'll be like Nick, check this out. She, she she did that shit out of spite, bro. Like hey, I get she, at I don't even think she liked the nigga. Would you like get that. at her? Would you yeah. get her? Would you get at her? You like women? I do. Oh damn, I like you even more. Toys and women? Damn. Yes. <laughs> I like that. You, want, you talking about finding her a, a, a lady? You talking about finding Nikki a lady? You think Nikki's problem is that she's fucking with the wrong sex? Yes. Uh, That's her problem? I no. believe so. She needed, she needed I think bitch. she would be more happier with, with a, a woman, yeah. Why you say I heard that relationship was weird, though? No, it's not weird. It is weird. 
Yeah. No, it's not. Laying up with some titties. You don't think that's weird? No. You sure? No, not at all. No. Your sister loves it. I would love it. What's wrong with a man? I mean, it's just not as comfortable. Oh, damn. We lost you. <laughs> it's nothing wrong. It's your girl. I mean, because, like, the women, they have, like, that extra oomph on I their chest. I got that extra oomph, too. Shit, nigga. <laughs> I got some cheese. <laughs> damn. <laughs> What's wrong with black men? What's wrong with the black no, men? Nothing's wrong. I, you gave up on this? Nothing's wrong. No. You sure? I'm pretty sure right. the last person that I was with. He was orange. No, he was not orange. Are you sure? No, he you was mixed. Dude, huh? He was mixed. Mixed with Chinese? No, he was mixed with black Little and dude. white, but. All right. Mixed dudes. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm with that. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah, I got tired I of the Latino side, so. What are you mixed with? I'm Puerto Rican and Mexican. Fire in the hole. Damn. What are you mixed with? What are you? I knew you was going to say Chilean. You look <laughs> like a Chilean. You, you motherfucker. Yeah, they can climb the fuck out of a pineapple tree. <laughs> <laughs> well, I seen one. I seen one. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, did you know pineapples don't have trees? They grow on the ground? Yeah. Did you know that? Why'd you say that then? I, just, I was waiting for one of them to be like, da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> I knew they grew on the ground. <laughs> she didn't know that. Uh, uh, anyway, man, I don't know what when that nigga gonna get out, but that motherfucker. She uh she did a visit to the uh, 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 elementary school, and I guess since he's supposed to register as a sex offender. You know, that was, like, number one. Like, nigga, you ain't supposed to be by no school. That's like R. Exactly. Kelly. That's like R. Kelly showing up at your school. Oh, my goodness. You know? Right. Mm-mm. Right. I so, think they fucking with him, but he I wasn't out there for that. Like, what the fuck? He was there. They saw on camera. I mean. They was I, going in the classroom. Yeah, he wasn't you know? looking. Like, it wasn't like his it don't pants matter. was he down. He, then. It, it don't matter. He ain't, he ain't supposed to be there. He ain't supposed yeah. to be there. He I knows he's not supposed to be there. You know that. Oh yeah, he's but, but you know, he talk. right on her booty, nigga. Right on her booty, holding her booty like it's her hand. Exactly. Like, yeah, nigga. I yeah. Her booty so, too. so so yeah. The, <laughs> so law enforcement saw that video. Law enforcement saw that video and it was like, yo, let's get this nigga. They got him. Yeah, they got him. Nasty nigga. You shouldn't. You shouldn't be out anyway, bro. I don't think fuck? he should be. Should, nigga, I don't you, think you 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 raped mm. the, you raped the bitch with a weapon, nigga. You sick ass nigga. Uh oh. That's nasty. That's nasty nigga, bro. Well, you can't come on the show, nigga. Sorry, <laughs> you have been denied. She, she, she keep on championing for these motherfucking nasty niggas. Bro. Yeah, like New that York is not is something place. to be proud of. No, nah. her brother nasty. Her nigga nasty. She might be nasty. I heard me say her pussy stink, bro. <laughs> Damn, they dogging you out, Nikki. I support you, Nikki. Dang. Nikki, call me. Yikes. I'll clean your pussy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know who's in the news? Uh, My favorite director. Uh, you ever seen a movie called She's Gotta Have It? Yes. Shut up. <laughs> you ain't you you ain't even old enough to watch that Come movie. Come on. What's the movie about? Basically, it's about a woman who is in these different type of relationships with all these different types of men. One is very wealthy. One is, you know, pretty much grew up on the streets with her. And then you got the other one that's a freak. <laughs> I underestimated you. I apologize. You are very smart. <laughs> I did see the, you know the newer version and the older version, but the I did like version. the I did like the um new version though. That one was really really interesting and funny. You know who the director is? We're talking about him, right? Yeah, Spike Lee. Yeah, Spike Lee. Big ups to Spike Lee for man not getting dogged out by the fucking holding, New York Knicks, right? Ground. Oh my goodness. Yo, what the fuck happened? So, so you know, Spike Lee been going to the Knicks games for like thirty years, mm. right? Mm. But he's been going like the same. You know, he spent like a couple mil with them already, just on games, on watching them not, never win a championship. Oh my god! You know, so this nigga's been going through like the employee interest to get to the games, right? And I guess the employee interest is on what some other street. You know, I guess the arena is like a whole block wide, right? Mm. So he's been doing this for thirty years. But that day, like last week, the the owner. It was like, nah, no more. You can't. The owner said that? Well, he made a he made a rule and, and let it trickle down to the to, okay. the to the minions. So the minions at the motherfucking gate telling this nigga, nah, you ain't getting in here. 
we scanned your ticket, but just go around, go around to the little VIP section, and we'll let you in through there. And that nigga had to fit, like nigga, you already you already scanned my ticket. I know fucking well I can't get back in here. You know my my tickets is twelve thousand like a piece. You feel me? <laughs> like you ain't about to fucking play me. This this and that. I come here every day, thirty years. Like nigga, I'm thirty. The nigga been going there longer than I'm alive. You know. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that nigga went and took it, took that shit to motherfucking ESPN, like everything, and 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 and, and the motherfucking Knicks want to write a, a statement saying, oh that's what he said is laughable and shit, like just disrespecting the man, bro. Now shout, shout out to Spike Lee for motherfucking. Boy big up to Spike Lee. Man. Spike, we support you, but on the flip side of this. The organization, the Knicks organization, said they've been trying to get Spike to stop going through this exit for, for up to two years? years. For two years. For two years. He's been a ticket holder for 30 years, but they've been asking him repeatedly, like, please go through this. Please go through this other exit. It's a VIP exit. You don't have to do it. It ain't like going through the front. So I get it. Spike didn't want to do it. Boom, boom, boom. So they made a mockery and told him no. They actually put their foot down. But let me wow. put it to you like but, this. But, if I ask the nigga... Don't go through here. Go that way. And I've asked him numbers of times, what you want me to do after after I put my foot in his ass? But, what would you do? But it's Spike Lee. So what Spike Lee did, that nigga boycotted. He acted as Spike he, Lee. He, he, he boycotted. And that, that that next day, the the day after he boycotted, they had the lowest attendance rate. The lowest attendance in 10 years. They Damn. they lost. So that fucked their bottom line money yeah. up. So let Spike much. walk through the money. If he want to play, let him play. Right. For real. He, he damn near owned a piece of the team anyway. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, but you know what? It's a corporation. Corporation don't mind losing a couple of M's to to not let to one what, motherfucker to, to do one, it. To not let one nigga in. Hey, bud. Come on, he is the Knicks. Hey, he, mm-hmm. he has a, he has a higher winner, uh, winning record than they do. Like, come on, bro. He can boycott the Knicks, <laughs> but effectively, it ain't gonna work, hold. Down, it ain't gonna smack down the organization. Who you who do you think also can do that though? Like, what other play? What Michael other, Jordan? What, Michael, nah, Michael Jordan. Don't, he own a team. So what? He own a team. Like, well, a celebrity can, like, do some shit like this. I think like, as who, a who, unit, who, if we did it together, we could probably shut down anything. Like, who else is on that level, though? Like, I know Drake got Toronto. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 40 got the got Golden State. You think 40 can pull <clears throat> that move off? Wait, can you roll another one for me, please? Appreciate you. <laughs> you, think, you think 40 can pull that shit off? Hell no. Nah. Who else? 40 water? Yeah. <laughs> no? Yeah. Who else is, like, like 40. Who else, who else is ambassador to their team? Um, Trick Daddy? Trick Daddy? Ain't, ain't, Hell no. He ain't no ambassador to the heat. He ain't no ambassador to that Coca Cola. <laughs> <laughs> Big shout out to fucking um, that nigga up with wildin', bud. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you can't come to Miami. I'm gonna kill you. I'm like, man, shut up, nigga. <laughs> that nigga flip on anybody you talk about. Another <laughs> Coke victim. That nigga look, that nigga head look like a blimp. <laughs> 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 you ever dated an ugly dude that you knew was ugly? Yes. For what? Yeah, personality. Personality. <laughs> oh, yeah, for it's shit. just, it's not all about hey, you, looks. You don't look like how you never dated an ugly dude. Huh? <laughs> no, he said, nah. Uh-uh. <laughs> hey, Burberry, that's, you, you know any of your girls' old dudes? They, they, what they look like? Bums. 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 <laughs> <laughs> hey. Now, you ever seen any of his old ex-ladies? Uh, hey, he was like, mm-mm. I'm over here taking a I don't know. Right. I don't know. I ain't never met none of my chick dudes either. I got too many exes. Everybody know my exes. Dre is famous. I left the paper trail. What do you like about Dre? Nothing. You like anything about my brother? I'm ugly, nigga. He's not ugly. You're not ugly. He's not ugly. Our mama did not have no ugly baby. Uh, uh, mm. uh, None of you are ugly. Our so. grandmama is fine. <laughs> and, she, and she goes out. <laughs> you remember when Grand walked in here? I was like, who's that? Grand. Oh, shit. <laughs> She's a fireball. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to deal with her in Cancun next month. Big up to Grand. She's yeah. a shit. Spring break with Granny. Hey. What y'all doing for the holiday? Ooh, I'm trying to go to Disneyland. You look trying like to you should go to Disneyland. Little to Disneyland you got a for kid? birthday. Yeah. A kid came out of you? Yeah. You fucked up, huh? 
No. <laughs> he's the I mean, I'm not, that's I know. No, I get that. I get that. I get that. How old are you? He'll be five. How old are you? I'm 24. Yeah, you fucked up. <laughs> How did I, 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 I fuck like that? Yeah. I mean, I'm just telling you. I'm just, let's go. I, I not. fucked up too. I got a son. He's six five. <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> it's his nephew. <laughs> he fucked up because he's going to have to pay. <laughs> anyway, Unfiltered Podcast Show, number 66. Man. So Where else we going? Yeah, man. Another hip hop news. That nigga Flavor Flav got oh done my from goodness. motherfucking Public Enemy. You saw that shit? Yes. God oh, wow. Ain't that, ain't that your boy? Who, Flav? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Crunchy, mm-hmm. crunchy ass nigga. Right, that a, nigga? Like, whatever happened to him? I like, like his, Flavor of Love. And, you yeah. know, like, he, he, he just, had a he show just, and then he just, on. like, he disappeared his, from the he found face of the earth. He found his love. Hey, man, he's, Flav, Flav, the more stupid he is, and I'm sure he knows it, that he makes him a lot of money. He used to lay up on that tall white bitch. He used to lay up on a bunch of motherfuckers. Yeah, she used to carry that nigga like a baby. You remember who was that tall? It was that tall bitch from Flavor of Love. What's her name? Dang. Um, she was a model back, or like a, uh, she was like tall. She was like, a, who the fuck was that? You know what I'm talking about? The tall oh. white bitch. Yeah, the, the she that she was on the in Rocky. Yeah, I forgot her name. The the, the stealth looking white bitch with the short mm-hmm. hair. Right. Yeah. And went back. Right. He was up under them titties. He was laying up. <laughs> man, that was TV love. That nigga was getting lost in them titties. Nigga, I, I seen Flavor Flav on No Lie, nigga. Me and my cousin pulled up, nigga. We bent lead out, right? This nigga in a Hollywood car line, you know, when you go into, like, a show and there's, you know, red carpet shit. Yeah. This nigga pull up, nigga, in a Jeep Cherokee, nigga. <gasps> Four-door, nigga. Smoke windows, some tight rims. And, nigga, I was like, are you serious? Dang. Flavor Flav just know he can act stupid, bro. That's all. He gets paid to be stupid. He got hella kids, bro. He ain't that. He got family. 11 kids. He got 11. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just 11. had one last year. 11. Oh, my God. Still pumping. You know I mean? Pumping him at 50 something years old. Uh. <laughs> Would you get that Flavor Flav? I mean, he oh, just, no. God, no. He just, he just grateful, bro. He's too old for me. No, if I was a ugly, I'd be fifty year old? too. No. Why? 50 year old men, they're cool. We're rich. <laughs> No, we ain't talking about that. My mom's darn near 50, about to turn 50. I can go out with your mama and you. Ooh, (laughs) wait. Tag team back again. Oh, my goodness. Uh, What's that? What the fuck else? (laughs) That nigga Flavor, he got got kicked out of Public Enemy because uh, who who the other dude? um, Chuck D. Chuck D had endorsed. Oh, um, political. Yeah, he endorsed Bernie. Yeah, yeah. And I guess Flavor Flav, Flav ain't fucking with Bernie for some reason. He was like, nigga, don't 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 be playing the songs at no Bernie rally or nothing. And then Chuck D was like, All right, fuck it. You out the group. Like, let me show you how let me show you how let me show you how important you are. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he straight punk that nigga. Right. Cause everybody know Chuck D the political one. Chuck D is the motherfucker, but he the they, political one. He was talking about it, that fight the power shit. They that's made what a Bernie, great team. That's what Bernie doing. Fight, trying to fight the power, and he's like, "Nigga, I fuck with Bernie. Flavor Flav, hey. Flavor Flav be with them white folks. Flavor Flav, <laughs> he should have handled <laughs> it like he business. one, man. You know, he should have handled it like business. It means shit. It ain't business. I mean, it ain't nothing but an endorsement, bro. If like if you didn't fuck with Bernie, you didn't have to say nothing. You just could have just shut up and let your partner. You could have just yeah. You could have performed. I mean, it's about performing. You didn't have to perform. He, Chuck D been performing without you for a long time. Did he? Yes. Yeah, come oh. on, Chuck D been, been he been performing without him for like twenty years now, bro. I didn't know that. Facts. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I didn't know. Oh, that. He got a whole band without him. I didn't and know. He that. ain't nothing but a hype man. I, I ain't know. That. He ain't nothing but a hype man. Every song that I know, of Public Enemy got Flavor Flav in it. Yeah, but so what? He just says, "Yeah, boy." Yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool with me. This ain't nothing. That's like that's no, like not. that's like that's like saying we can't have no bus without no flip mode. Nigga, like, come on, bro. What's the name? Uh, flip Star. What the fuck that nigga name? His yeah. hype man. Yeah, I thought he was gay. <laughs> Why? Because he wore do rags back in the day before they, everybody. They dressed like minions. <laughs> All y'all dressed like that back in the day. <laughs> no, they still dressed like that. Nah, nigga. I have on white, you have on white. That's how they do. I'm shout cool. Out, shout out to Diddy and... Um, Who? <laughs> Diddy and Mace. Diddy's a cool dude. Man, I met Diddy. I was at Diddy's house. When they had the puff jackets on coming down the little alley, bro, that was... Come on, bro. All y'all <laughs> niggas did that. Y'all did that in y'all I, group, I too. I didn't do that. I was in a big rap group. If you can name the biggest rap group I was in in the West Coast, I'll give you $100. <laughs> Can't read my gold record on the wall either. <laughs> See, you fucked up. 
I don't like you no more. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Unfiltered Podcast, yo. We talking shit. It's Sunday. Thanks for everybody for listening. What else we got going on, Dre? You know, creeping up at the uh, the end of our uh, podcast, you know, we'll talk a little political. It's, it looks like Biden is sweeping it up. I voted for Bernie. Me, personally, I voted for Bernie. I don't know about y'all. I'm a Republican. Bernie. I believe that. I'm a Republican. Yeah, so, uh, like, everybody uh, everybody that was running for the, uh, the Democratic Democratic primary had dropped and all endorsed this nigga Biden, all of them, except for Warren. Right? Am I am I wrong? Does anybody know? I, yeah, I'm gonna say except. I for mean, Warren. I don't know what's wrong. With, I mean, I like Bernie, um, and that's it's just the it just shows that the political the rest of the party doesn't fuck with him, bro. Like, it, yeah, just, like his, the, his ideas, like us as citizens, it might be too it. left wing. Yeah, well, nah, I don't think so. Not Biden, too not fucking with because he was under the black president. Nah, just Bernie just want to give away some free shit. And they ain't fucking with it. He he gonna give us forty acres in it. Can you imagine if you got a certificate in the mail from the U.S. government that said you have forty acres and a meal? <laughs> imagine if you got a letter saying that you didn't have to pay for health care or, or or your son's <clears throat> that ain't gonna or, never or happen your, or your son's school. So. So that's what he was pushing for. He was trying to fix the our, our, our education system and our health care, which is like the more the two things that's holding us back right now in this country. Where like why does it cost so much to go to the doctor and why does it cost so much to go to school? Yeah, it's, it's that's two, the biggest two, money. It's the two things that we need, period. We spend yeah. more, we spend most of our life in school and we rely on our life with the fucking hospital. And then like, yeah. like the government got it so we both can't we can't do either. You know, yeah, right. And much. if you do either, like, say, I say I fail out out street, out in the street, like now, bro, I'll be in debt like ten thousand. Like, come on, bro, like I'll right. be in debt because I fail. Like, don't that don't make no fucking sense. You know what I mean? You're supposed to die in debt. Yeah, man. Fuck Ima- it. Imagine like, imagine, there's no financial freedom to shit. Imagine going to, to uh, yeah. taking the motherfucking um the ambulance and that shit cost you three bands. You only had a hundred dollars in your in your bank yeah, account. Yeah, you can like, you know. Yo, it's like a 30-year fix, and you buy a house at 40 years old. Like, Man, you might uh, die uh, at 60. Uh, uh, like, what the fuck? Nigga, a ride to the hospital shouldn't put you under, bro. Shit, $5,000. Damn. I know, yeah. personally. Just, just a ride, nigga. Like, it's 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 better to call an Uber, nigga, if you about to die. Yeah. It's better to call an Uber and then pay the Uber fee for cleaning up the blood in the back if you got shot than to fucking call the ambulance. You're you know? right. And that's, that's a motherfucking shame, bro. Like, nigga, we're in a hole. Right. Like somebody got fixed this. I don't think Biden's I mean shit. Biden's better. Biden is better than Trump. But goddamn it, Bernie was about to fucking fix us, nigga. Like we're we're. we're I think somebody got to punch um, Trump in the face. Yeah. And he should fall back, hit his head on the concrete, shit. and we should bury his bitch ass in the motherfucking Oval Office. Corona already did. It. Fuck it. Yeah, Corona about to backfire on them niggas. The Russians <laughs> gave the United States Corona. That's my Chinese. prediction. Chinese. Two the Chinese, Chinese, yeah, they white too. Fuck they white too. <laughs> oh, That's Hang your ass from the ceiling. That's like racist. <laughs> have you ever been called a racist? No. Okay. How many times have you been called a racist? Every other week. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't give a fuck. I have an opinion, but shit, I'm rich and then you ain't. Fuck it. <laughs> That's what I keep saying. I'd be like, like, shit. Rich people get to be racist. Yeah, we can do any fucking thing. I can do no, anything. Can. Yeah, we can. Rich people get canceled. No, we days. don't get canceled. <laughs> we, we, get, we die, get cancer at 86, and then canceled. that's it. I said canceled. Oh, said well. Canceled. Nah, fuck it. Yeah, nigga. You seen, you seen uh, Weinstein, nigga, down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't be doing that. Man. You can't be hacking that way, blood, when you yeah. got paper, blood. Shout, shout, shout to Bill Cosby. You know what I'm saying? Oh, damn, another one. Oh, my goodness. You ain't, I ain't never did that over no pussy, though, man. Uh, rich nigga, just buy the pussy, nigga. You ain't got a, <laughs> you ain't got a drug, a motherfucker. Like, damn. Yeah. Like, take the pussy? Like, how, how do you feel? Fucking abroad and, and, and you taking the pussy and she just like no no like dude, when is it clicking your head to stop? You know what? Like what the fuck? If he had those like if he had those life signs, you uh, can buy pussy for three hundred dollars. Just pay a girl to act unconscious. Buy it. <laughs> <laughs> you just buy play it. That, play that for a little. Or bit. you marry it. Do something. He already had a wife. Oh, well, he and fucked she, and up. His wife, his wife didn't like playing dead. So. <laughs> Damn. Yo. Oh, this man. has been a very educational 66 episode of Unfiltered Podcast Show. We want to say thank you, beautiful motherfuckers, thank you. for coming to hang out. Please state where people can see you and follow you on Instagram and all that good shit. Of course. Say something, nigga. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> <laughs> you, you go ahead. <coughs> Mm-hmm. 
And then you can follow me at underscore bam bam underscore underscore underscore. <laughs> you can follow me underscore 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 yeah. underscore <laughs> underscore underscore. I'm thinking oh, about yeah. changing it, so oh, yeah, don't really. worry about Come it. Come on, Bambi, we gotta get like it should be Bambi something. Right. Yeah, something. Some, some look. Yep. What's your last name? Oh, I'm not gonna say my last name. We ain't told us your first name. She got warrants. Oh yeah, you going to jail, baby? No, I don't got warrants. That's I'm a, clean. Oh, we can turn you into ISIS and get five hundred dollars and give me some weed. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Dang. we want to say thank you for listening, all oh, motherfuckers. Nine thousand two hundred and forty-five people that listen to today's podcast. Check out these two beautiful ladies. We are the Unfiltered Podcast Show. Tashiro is in the building, holding us down as usual. Our sponsor, Smokeland. Thank you very much, thank ladies. You, Will you hide Smokeland. the whole show? Oh, yeah. Will you support Smokeland? Yes. Say thank you, Smokeland. Thank you, Smokeland. Yeah, we need more weed, motherfucker. <laughs> Dre, we gone? We out. We out. Let's, let's, Fuck let's, you. Let's exit on this meg. She drops a new shit on Friday. Boom. Unfiltered podcast shows. No, episode 66, bitch. <laughs> Fine.